Hello everyone. In this video, let's discuss what is dispatch group and what are the use cases of it, uh, when it is required, when it is needed. So at very high level, the definition of uh, a dispatch group is it's a mechanism in Swift that allows you to group multiple tasks or operations and get notified when they all finish. So it is useful when you need to wait for a couple of operations which are asynchronous that uh, uh, then only you can do another task or when you need to update your UI when, when only you perform uh, uh, another action when, once all tasks have finished. So let's say for example, let's uh, take a scenario. Uh, I need to fetch, uh, uh, for example, it is a, it is a, uh, a product store. First I need to fetch uh, user uh, favorite favorite uh, products and I need to fetch uh, user uh, uh, shop shopping cart uh, uh, user shopping cart items and after that I need to fetch uh, uh, users uh, uh, orders orders list so then only I can uh, uh, then only I can display my landing screen or something for example these three are the operations that uh, synchronous operations that I need to do and once they complete only then I, I can perform some UI action or I can go for go and fetch some other data from the server let's say this is the use case so usually using uh, GCD GCT what we do uh, we take a queue uh, this is how we take a queue just a second it is showing me this stuff but usually it is so let's do one thing let me run it here so that maybe some issue with the playground just a second so let me let me take a queue dispatch queue where we give the label to identify the operations in it so let's we give it usually in the reverse order let's give ios solves and uh, for example if you want to make it a concurrent we need to explicitly mention mention it as concurrent queue in the attributes so as i have the queue i can do asynchronous operations like uh, let's say i'm giving some sleep sleep over here so that uh, it becomes an asynchronous operations now i'm just printing it uh, saying that uh, within a second fetched uh, fetched uh, users favorites okay this is one operations one operation now again i go and i write it for uh, a tumor for example let's say uh, users orders uses order for example it, 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 it takes two seconds which is an asynchronous operation again and uh, the next thing is uses uh, uh, shopping cart items it is also a synchronous operation it, it just takes uh, one second now when these are all these are all asynchronous operation and with, uh, with when these are all done only uh, on the main thread the on the main thread uh, actually this is the code we perform i need to do something for example uh, i need to do like uh, okay loading uh, landing screen why because these these services are necessary for me to load the landing screen in my application okay so but when you run it what happens let's see what happens what is happening see it, it is getting executed first and the asynchronous operations are taking their time and they are executing next by the time i load the screen these services will not be necessary and i will my application will go for it toss correct so this is the issue uh, otherwise what i need to do is i need to uh, i need to take a counter counter value and uh, every time uh, i need to increase plus plus and uh, once counter value become i need to check if uh, counter plus is equal to one and if counter is e this is what i need to do correct manually if counter is equal to do okay then you do some notification so that i can do this operation landing of uh, loading screen operation but uh, this is very tedious and uh, it, it may go wrong uh, as you are playing with the uh, you are playing with counters which are mutable in the multi-threaded environment so this is this is the problem statement now what is the solution so uh, we have dispatch group uh, to solve this issue uh, how we can do i will make it uh, very simple what i do is i will take a dispatch group 
steps it is simple to initialize now what is the simple thing that we need to do is every time we enter we enter it and and we, we need to leave it so first operation I have entered and uh, the dispatch group I'm going to leave leave from the group so this is what we need to do for each and every operation okay you are entered you leave this maybe in, in the background it takes care of uh, counter mechanism and everything and all now it is having a beautiful uh, uh, mechanism of uh, notifying users saying okay once all the items are done if you want to execute anything you can execute you can take any queue also if you want but i'm taking my main thread and i'm doing the same stuff which i have done now i'm going to load my landing screen over here correct now let's see i have, I have not done anything the queue is the same the synch synchronous operations are same uh, i have just taken the dispatch group i entered and i and i'm entering into the group uh, before each and every asynchronous operation and I'm leaving the group after the asynchronous operation so let, let's assume it's a happy path what if an error happens if it is an asynchronous call that and all I think we it's, it's not a big deal we can handle it if it is an error also we can go with uh, leaving the dispatch group or calling it again so you enter and you leave in uh, for each and every asynchronous operation and at the end you notify and uh, whatever the queue you want to select and you display whatever the block you want to execute and let's see what it uh, gives us so first it has to fetch all the items whatever may be the order based on what it takes time for example user users order takes time so why because we have given sleep it as two it's a big asynchronous operation so <clears throat> at the end of it we have got display landing screen so that's the purpose of dispatch group where uh, we'll go and read it again when you need to wait for multiple asynchronous tasks to complete before executing another task or when you need to update the ui to perform another action once all tasks have finished one once all the tasks are finished if you want to perform a ui operation this is one thing not only any way operation here uh, you go and uh, uh, take uh, another queue uh, so uh, you name it uh, something com dot uh, uh, com dot user dot for example discounts uh, discounts uh, you want to perform then what i would do i will go and uh, fetch the discounts on this uh, on this queue okay here what i will do is here uh, fetching here i would fetching discounts okay now if i run it we're fetching the shopping cart favorites orders and once are all these done only i can go and fetch the discounts okay so that is pretty much the use case of dispatch group once if you if you are depending on a task to be done only after asynchronous tasks this is the first use case second use case is if you want to perform an ui action and when all the tasks are finished so in the notify section in the queue you can take whatever queue you want to do if you want to do something on the main thread you can directly take the main like we have done earlier or we can sleep and and there is one more thing also we can do instead of uh, this notifying of course this is our use case so this dispatch group is having a having something called you wait for all these operations okay you wait for all these operations and uh, then only then only you do some operation for example that means you're blocking the program dispatch uh, uh, q dot main dot i think let's say print i should be at the last okay i'm just waiting i'm just hold everything see see i should be at the last that means it will not notify anything but it will stop the program so here here are two use cases one thing is either you notify and don't stop the execution the second thing the second thing is stop the execution okay it stop the execution and then executes this uh, it's it uh, end of the day it's, uh, it's our requirement David, if you want to stop the execution we can stop the execution or if you want it to be a synchronous operation i want to do something else so once it is done notify me okay i can notify you and i don't do i and i don't stop the execution for you okay uh, why because for example if it is not there if you are just notifying it and uh, for example this is this is something that i want to do it on the main thread 
while this and all are happening it will not uh, it will not block my it will not block my code for example if you see it uh, i should be at the last this executed first why because it will not wait for uh, these asynchronous operations and the rest of the steps are happening uh, normally correct so pretty much that's the uh, use case of uh, dispatch group where it is very useful when when we have uh, when you, when we need to perform a couple of asynchronous operation for example in some applications during the app launch we we call different different services like app launch related services whether app needs an up upgrade or uh, the initial stuff that may be dependent to the application not after user logs and we do if you need to fetch some service call then only if you can start the application then uh, then I think this is a good use case where you add a dispatch group and uh, uh, and, and having said that it doesn't apply if one service is depending on another uh, service for example first I can fetch only uh, data from the server then I can parse it then I can do some calculations in that case uh, uh, in this in that case it needs to happen in a synchronous way uh, correct so in that case maybe we need to go for the operation queues where we can add some uh, dependencies and do the maximum concurrent operations count and all so pretty much so let's not go to operations queues where we are discussing in the gcd in the gcd uh, uh, there is no option uh, per to perform uh, uh, to perform uh, all the op all the asynchronous operation and get notified but using the dispatch group we can okay hope uh, that is useful uh, this video is useful Thank you.